Oh my god, he's got me out here doing announcements for a stadium full of people who are pissed off because they bought tickets expecting all the duels to happen in the arena. But of course, the duels aren't happening in the arena. They're happening inside theme park rides or something. I mean, what the hell even is this tournament? Sir, your mic feed is live. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you what the hell it is. The Kaiba Corp Grand Prix. You were the one who is the grand prick. Take a look at these quarter finalists. First up, it's Mighty Max Size Prodigy Leon Wilson versus Mad Max wannabe Ethan Shark. And before you ask, no, this duel will not take place within the arena. I know, I, I know, I'm sorry, I, I agree with you. Folks, please, stop setting fire to things. It'll ruin the tournament for everyone. Especially the folks who are on fire. So what? I gotta duel these guys and then I win? Man, that's gonna be a cinch. They're all tiny and square-shaped. Line them up, I'll knock them down like a bunch of dominoes. Yugi, explain. Joey, you remember how we talked about how you shouldn't take everything on TV so literally? Yeah, man. One time I was watching TV and they had a report on the weather. Like that's a real thing. By the way, that Siegfried guy you're dueling is right over there. I bet he thinks rain is real. Dumbass. Eh. He is significantly less tiny and square-shaped than I was led to believe. TBH, I'm surprised you even know your shapes. Hey, I can name all kinds of shapes. Triangle. Isosceles triangle. Parallelogram. Maybe we should stop yelling names of shapes at the small child. I'm not done, Duke. Equilateral triangle. Okay, now I'm done. The only real weather report is whether or not Joey's gonna flunk this duel. Tristan, you are giving me Brooklyn anxiety. How is that different from regular anxiety? Oh, I need more female friends. Sadly, I am in Yu-Gi-Oh. Kawaii Okay, guys, tournament's back on. Abe the Monkey Man, you're gonna wanna mop that up. Everyone else, follow me. And try not to step in any of that. Hey, Pinkie Pie, looking forward to dueling you. You know, this is only the second time I've challenged the main antagonist of a story arc. Last time it happened, I almost died. But I got better. Anyway, Shake? Hm, that's funny. I didn't realize Abe's pet monkey was also entered into the tournament. Huh. Wonder what he meant by that. Hey, wait a minute! You did not just call me a monkey! Only Kaiba gets to do that! He has special privileges! Yeah, I believe that is called poopy shipping. Gee, it's puppy shipping, man! Puppy shipping! The only thing poopy around here are your chances of beating me! So impertinent! I look forward to pulling random cards out of a big pile of my cards to get rid of your cards and make the numbers next to your face go and then bloop because there are no more numbers! Not that I imagine you could count them! I know plenty of numbers, man! Two! Fourteen! Kunai with change. Joey, calm down. I can feel your nipples right through your jacket, you so tense. For the last time, Tristan, stop going right to my nipples every time you want to know how I feel. Well, chat, it's time I go kick some jabroni ass. Don't forget to post hashtag Becky Sweep when talking about my duel, okay? Did you just call us chat? Taya doesn't understand. She's not poggers like us, right, Yugi? I'm not sure what any of those words are, but absolutely. Hey, guys, there's something you should all hear. Okay, just give me a sec while I put Joey's nipples in a timeout. They're really out of control. Someone in the Grand Prix mix is up to some tricks. No way. They're getting their kicks via a Grand Prix fix? Right. My big brother figured it out earlier by analyzing all the clues. Mokuba, I just got an email that says, LOL, I hacked your tournament, sucks to be you. And it's from Grand Prix contestant at AOL.com. That could be anybody. Except Joey, I mean. Yes, anybody except Joey, indeed. Someone in this tournament is trying to make a fool out of me. I bet it was Sherlock Holmes. That motherfucker. He and I have been enemies ever since he entered the public domain and I could no longer purchase the rights to his likeness. Mokuba, keep an eye on Sherlock Holmes. That motherfucker. Oh, and everyone else, I guess. We think someone's trying to sabotage the entire event. So guys, please let me know immediately if you see anything remotely strange, no matter how trivial- I saw something strange! Tristan, is it my hair? 
Mm, yes. Okay, but if you see anything weird that isn't Yugi's hair, let me know. You know, it would probably look way more badass if you took that front bang and propped it up like a cool lightning bolt or something. Pharaoh, please let me have my thing. Now that we've successfully doused all the flames, it's time to get fired up for the next four rounds of the Kaiba Pricks Grand Corp. You're a Grand Corp. First up, it's Leon Wilson versus Ethan Shark, and it's taking place inside a haunted house. Kaiba Corp would like to remind you that ghosts and supernatural entities are not real, so the scariest thing about this attraction is how many OSHA violations we made building it. Then it's fictional detective Sherlock Holmes going up against a character whose name you'd have to Google to remember. And last but not least, in the depths of a volcano, Siegfried von Schroeder takes on the highly respected veteran duelist, Joey Wheeler! Oh, it's over. Oh, hey, man. Fancy seeing you here. I'm totally not bothered about the stuff that you said earlier. Not thinking about it constantly. Definitely not eating away at me from the inside. Oh, hey, my rowdy friends are here. Duke's been holding in a really funny joke since the start of the ride. Okay, take it away, Duke. This room is the second hottest room I've ever been in. Let me guess, the hottest room was your bedroom, right? The hottest room... Yeah, like I said. ...was my bedroom. Oh, what a surprise. Duke Devlin out. With this many screens, I can watch all the Yu-Gi-Oh! And when I've watched all the Yu-Gi-Oh!, I will become Yu-Gi-Oh! God, I need more hobbies. All right, Siegfried, I hope you're ready. Cause Lady Luck and Joey Wheeler have been going steady since 1996. So let me just take a look at my opening hand here and oh sh Surely this will work. I play one card face down and end my toyin'. That's all he's gonna do? You heard him. He ended his toyin'. But that's not gonna do anything. His toyin' is over, Taya. God. I hope you're watching again, Herr Kaiba. Oh, who am I kidding? There's no one in the world you hate more than Siegfried von Schroeder. <laughs> There's nobody I hate more in the world than that man. Sherlock Holmes. That mother and now that the little hand and the big hand are kissing each other on the mouth with tongue, Operation F*** Everything Up is about to begin! Oh no! The computer is suddenly showing me meaningless charts and graphs! This is exactly what happens when someone hacks things! Hey! Lava's shooting all over the place! Why did they put actual volcano stuff in this theme park, man? Somebody must have hacked the volcano. So should we call off the duel? No, let's just see what happens. It'll be fun. You know, I was really hoping I'd be dueling Rex and Weevil. It would have made for some really funny spank the monkey jokes. <laughs> What's that, little fella? Oh yeah, Maxi. Good call. Ah! Help! This is totally ruining hashtag Becky Sweet! I hate to admit it, but I never googled your name, so I'm not sure what to call you. Oh, thank God, now it's way less awkward. Mr. Kaiba, the hacking has caused the tournament to suck even more than it already did. What are your orders, sir? I'm trying to do my laundry. Can this wait? Hang on. Hacking. My tournament. Suck. Those words remind me of a person I met a long time ago, back when I was cute as sh**. An honor to meet you, Mr. Kaiba. I'm sure your sons will get along well with my own boy. He's a wide-awake nightmare. Oh, I just love being raised by parents who love me, don't you guys? Isn't that neat? Having parents, yeah? It was the worst birthday party I ever had. It's also the only one I ever had. You know what I love even more than the parents thing? Hacking! Oh, look everyone! I have hacked the lights, so now they are flickering! Look how they flicker! I bet you are very impressed that I can do this with the lights! What in blazes is going on? <clears throat> uh, attention duelists. My hair believes that the lighting system for the building has been hacked. But that's stupid! Oh, only a child would find that impressive. Like a, like a really dumb child. Ah! 
It was the most impressive thing I'd ever seen. If only my flashback wasn't filmed in black and white, I'd be able to recognize whoever that was. Now I equip my Brigadier of Landstar with Landstar Shot. Not only does it give my monster a boost of 600 attack points, it also makes for a sick reference to Kamen Rider Zolda. God, I wish Joey would stop talking about Kamen Rider. Joey had best watch his ass. He's not taking Siegfried nearly seriously enough. Oh, come on, you are not that much taller than me. Who is animating this episode? Allow me to introduce my Valkyries. First up, it's Sporty Valkyrie. She likes long walks on the beach and destroying your monsters. Then we have Posh Valkyrie. She has lots of money and is fashionable and she also loves attacking your life points directly. And thirdly... Let me guess. Baby Valkyrie? Nine... I mean, yeah. He is not beating those Pegasus ripoff allegations. Luckily for me, your attacks didn't wipe out my remaining life points, because I got me a Torina from Yakuza like a dragon. God, I wish Joey would stop talking about Yakuza. Since that's the case, I end my turn and my Valkyries must return to the safety of my deck. That's right, ladies. Daddy Siegfried's got you. Mm, you are so warm in mine hands. Oh my god, this guy talks to his cards? That's so weird. Isn't that right, Invisible Pharaoh I talk to all the time who lives inside the triangle I hang from my neck by a chain? Yeah, that's super freaky deaky. Status report. Sir, we've isolated the virus and rebuilt the mainframe hard drive. So long as the firewall holds steady, uh, we should uh, okay. be- Okay, none of those words make any sense in this context, man. Are you just making sh** up? Uh... The antivirus software is isolating the malware. Look, I'm a technical genius, and none of the stuff you're saying is even real. It's like you're saying lines written by someone who has no clue how any of this works. Try describing it in terms of card game mechanics. Oh, uh, the, uh... We have attacked the virus's life points directly, and it is currently unable to fight back because we activated Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? Idiot. Roland, you believe this idiot? Mr. Kaiba, I know you staged this tournament because the company was in trouble, but it seems with all the damages and the expenses, we're not really- Hang on. You hear that? There's a squeak. Roland, I don't know how, but they hacked my chair. Get the antivirus. Sir, you don't hear that? It's hacked. Unhack it. Now. Are you gonna get off the chair first? No. And now I activate Nibelung's ring. You did what with a nipple ring? Now that Nibelung's ring is upon your swordsman's finger, he cannot attack. Not that I was worried about silly little swordsman of Landstar. I swear, it's like a million degrees in this room, and yet his spit still somehow keeps hitting me in the face from over there. Meet my three goddesses. Blossom. Bubbles and Buttercup. When they are not fighting crime and the forces of evil, they give me the ability to dictate the order of your next three cards and force you to set one face down. Now, using Bubbles' effect, if I guess what kind of cards that is, it is removed from play. And gee, I have no idea what it could be, except I know exactly what it is. It is a monster! Oh, crap. There goes Panther Warrior. Off to the heavy side layer. Not Panther Warrior. That's one of Joey's all-time best cards! Guys, did Joey's deck always suck? I summon a gacha machine. It does random stuff depending on what numbers come up. It's highly unreliable. Seriously, is it just me? What's wrong with his deck? And now say goodbye to your other face-down monster. Oh, come on, man, not my gablins. Those gablins were one day away from retirement. All right, Ziggy, how's this for some stardust? I activate my gacha machine to help me draw an extra card so you can't get rid of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three, that means I get to draw another card. And it's my trusty Suzuki Samurai. Nobody will ever understand the pain I feel. The pain of having my name be mispronounced by a young blonde Brooklyn native from Japan. Damn you, Joey Wheeler. I will get you back. Somehow. What's wrong with your deck, man? It looks like Leon Wilson turned Ethan into shark bait. Ah, oh, if I could have just gotten beyond Thunderdome. And Rebecca Hawkins clears that one monkey guy. And don't forget to write hashtag Becky Sweep when posting about my win. Thanks, chat.
Did that little girl just call me chat? And now that I have gear freed your gear freed from his mortal coil, I will follow that up by playing my Schwan Maiden, which lets me bring back one Valkyrie from mine hand. Oh, hey, like Swan Princess. God, I wish Teo would stop talking about Swan Princess. Go, my Valkyrie. Attack the Shashke Shabarai. The Shashke. The, the little man with the orange vine and head. No. I activate Silver Dollar. It protects any monster with a thousand attack or less. Yay. How do you like that? Penny for your thoughts, Ziggy. Mine friend, with all the pennies you have in the world, you couldn't afford even the tamest of my daydreams. And speaking of dreams, it's time to wake up and smell your imminent defeat. Buddy, I don't know what you're into, but I ain't smelling nobody's feet. Giant Throne Aid! With this card, I remove all your spells and traps from the field. Yeah, that's just a good card, except for when I activate Apple of Enlightenment! This card allows me to draw one more card from my deck. And it also has the added bonus of making you look at her bare feet and feel really weird about it. Yeah, uh, ixnay on the oot fetish fey anime. Next I summon my Valkyrie Brunhilda, who gains 300 attack for every warrior and dragon monster on the field, including yours. Joey's come a long way as a duelist. It would be a shame to see him fail now. Yeah, so long as Joey doesn't fall back on all his old strategies like rolling dice and using nothing but monsters, he'll be just- Graceful dice! Skull dice! Whatever this dice is! Monsters! Monsters! Nothing but monsters! Even more dice somehow! Joey, no! Think of everything you've learned since you started! This is like you're going back to square one! Sorry, Yug! I can't hear you over all these rolling dice! I can't believe that guy beat me off screen. Oh, I'm so glad you said screen. Thanks to the power of random ass numbers, I'm able to summon my red eyes black dragon, my ace monster. It would be super humiliating if you got rid of it without breaking a sweat. Oopsie! It would appear I've equipped my Brunhilda with enchanted sword Nothung, increasing its strength and allowing it to destroy your dragon monster without even attacking! Oh, come on, man! Did you at least break a sweat? Trust me, Vila. If I did, it was only because of the heat. Now I activate Rainbow Bridge Bifrost! Rainbow Bridge Bifrost? What does that do? I know a lot of buys, but Frost isn't one of them. Now for every monster that has been removed from play, my Brunhilda gains 500 attack! I hope you're ready to hear your life points go and then boop, Brunhilda! Show them why they call you Scary Valkyrie! Oh, that ah! <laughs> Ugh, my life points! God, I wish Joey would stop talking about his life points. A pity. It seems you can bring the dog to the fight, but you cannot expect a fight from the dog. Auf Wiedersehen, Joseph. I'm going to walk away all confident now, but I actually have no idea how to get out of here. Seriously, bro, what is up with your deck? Joey, are you okay? Do you need a minute? Talk to us. Hang on. I gotta roll these dice to see how I feel. It turns out I'm angry! Wow, Joey lost in the second round. Oh, that's BS, man. Joey's a way better duelist than that. He deserves better. I mean, uh, oh no! Someone must have hacked my brain! Uh, Mokuba, do something! It's okay to say Joey's a good duelist, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he really is. Never say that to his face, though. Here they come just in time.